In this video, I'll discuss the second stage of Elizabeth's exploratory literature review on interfaith dialogue. The second stage was to review and rationalise the first stage of the literature review. Elizabeth came back to her project several months after writing the first draft in order to continue adding resources and to use the project to help prepare her for her comprehensive exams. When Elizabeth opened the project several months later, she realised that she couldn't get easily back into her original thinking simply by reviewing the project. That was because it wasn't very well organised, and also because she hadn't added definitions to any of the codes during the first steps of her analytic process. So at this point she needed to review and refine the coding across the project as a whole. To do this, Elizabeth retrieved all the coded segments for each code she'd created in the first stage, and based on this defined them in a linked code memo. To do that, she went to the code system and generated an overview table of coded segments for each code, one at a time, and read through each coded segment. I'll just do that for dynamics of learning. And of course, when you choose one of the coded segments, you see it both in the panel above and in its context in the document browser behind. Based on her review, Elizabeth then defined each code in its linked memo. As you can see for the Dynamics of Learning memo, she dated the memo as well as adding her definition to the concept. Where relevant, she also added quotes from the literature to help add more substance to a specific definition. And we can see that in the Ambivalence memo. During this process, any codes that Elizabeth identified as repetitive or related to the same concept were merged. Most of the codename prefix that she'd created in task 2b during the first stage remained the same. But one change was that the category previously named aims became purpose. And if I scroll down the code system, you can see the purpose codes in the list. Next, in task 4b, Elizabeth reviewed and refined the broad subject areas covered by her literature resources. To do that, she went back to the document system and looked at the document groups. You may remember from the video about stage one of this process that I said that Elizabeth had nine document groups organising her literature files. In this phase then, she reduced them to these five that we currently see. Some groups were deleted, some were renamed, which Elizabeth did by right-clicking and choosing the relevant option, and some documents were moved between groups, simply by dragging and dropping. Task 4C was to reflect on the literature and the coding that Elizabeth had accomplished so far. While working through Task 4A, she had appended the memos created in an earlier task, 2A, with additional insights about each electronic resource. Now, in this phase, she added more to the analytic memo she'd created in task 2c concerning areas of discord or disconnect that she was seeing. Specifically, this led to two additional analytic memos to record insights relating to tolerance and communicative learning. And if I open up the overview of memos, we can see those. Here's the tolerance memo and the transformative learning and communicative learning memo resulted from merging two other memos.